is a substitute building keeper working in any and all schools beginning December 1, 1985. Did you remember that exact date? You did? Okay. You were hired by, I didn't know this person, Dick Martin? Yes, well, he was a director of Lakers Oh, okay, I didn't know, I didn't recognize the name. He must have, because Ken Apadroff was here. Okay, he was hired by Dick Martin. I assume he was working for free, y'all, because there was no hourly wage or anything on his on his <laughs> So I think he just started and just liked it so much he just said, I'll just work there for nothing. <laughs> but that was so funny because you have to have a salary on your farms and there was nothing. Uh, but by May 1st, 1986, he was moved to the high school as a building keeper and he was making $6.10 an hour. He was working 183 days at, at seven hours per day. By the fall of 1986, the comment on his PA stated, his trial period has been excellent. He should be placed on the regular payroll beginning September 1986. And this time it was signed by Ken Abendroth. So I guess Dick left. Did he retire? Or? Okay. And who was the maintenance director at that time. Then in February 1987, Steve began working 245 days at the high school in a custodial role. He remained there until October 1988 when he was hired by Linda Bain Reynolds, who was then the food service director. And he became the delivery warehouse person for food service and was partial time with maintenance. Mm -hmm. You're confirming all this. Yeah, that was, really, <laughs> okay. yeah, that was really too. Okay, yeah, I've got that. He was now working eight hours per day with 20% time in maintenance and 80% food service. Now your salary had jumped up now to $7.56 an hour. And when I arrived in 1989, Steve was still working a majority of his time for child nutrition and part-time delivering the mail, mm -hmm. the district mail. He soon, though, began after, uh, he soon after that began working full-time for Child Nutrition, delivering all of our commodities to our seven school cafeterias. He soon found himself busy taking care of our manager's commodity needs as well as making lifelong friends with them. He also took care of our laundry for many years, washing all of our towels and hot pads daily. Steve continued to excel in his job and is now retiring as Food and Nutrition Warehouse Manager. Steve drove one of the many yellow vans with no air conditioning for many years, and we were talking about this the other day, until 2002 when he got his new box truck with air conditioning and a lift on the back for loading and unloading items. I want to tell you, he was like a kid on Christmas morning when he got the keys. Yes. <laughs> and we all remember it so well. He, I remember him driving up to the building, he came in and he was just a strutting through there, you know. And so I went out and we looked at it, but it was like a kid on Christmas morning. We were so happy for him and enjoyed seeing him riding around in his new truck. And if you'll note, that's the picture in the program that you have um, with you. Of course, we also remember a few mishaps he had driving his truck, such as the sides of the truck being removed by those pesky gates that get in the way sometimes. <laughs> but all in all, he had a pretty safe driving record. I knew Steve was thinking of retiring, but must admit, when he came in to talk to me about it, I was taken a bit back by the timeline he had chosen. Luckily, though, he thought about it and decided to work a bit longer to get school started for us, and I do appreciate that so much. I truly appreciate it. Steve has always had a special place in my heart. He is a very sensitive and caring individual, and you are. Steve's relationship with the managers has always been a mutual one of respect. He took care of their needs, and they took care of his sweet tooth. They <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did. Probably a whole lot a more whole than lot I more. do. <laughs> but I would hear the stories of what you'd have, what you had. Of course, you know, you came in and talked to Sharon a little too much sometimes yes. because I always got all the information. <laughs> it was, yeah. that's fine. We all know Steve has a sweet tooth, and the managers never let him go long without a sweet treat for sweet treat for him. I will miss him frequently saying, usually about Wednesday of each week, is it Friday yet? <laughs> well, for you, Steve, 
Now every day is Friday. That's right. Seriously though, in thinking about Steve, I recall so many fond memories and a few stressful ones as well. He stressed when large shipments arrived or we had so many commodities that we were trying to get delivered in short, in short order to the schools. Our freezer would go down and the food had to be moved immediately. We had a few of those, didn't we, through the years. Before Hurricane Ike, you were so busy trying to get the food moved to the freezers with generators that would back them up. And he did. He got it all done. How? I don't know. You have also endured family illness and loss through the years that has been tough for you. He has also experienced much happiness from his daughter's marriage and more recently from the birth of his precious grandson. Steve loves playing bingo and the slot machines at casinos. He is always ready to go to the bingo parlors or take a drive to, to a new casino. Recently, I ran into he and his wife Linda at a bingo hall and they were both very helpful to a novice like me learning how to play all of those cards. Thank you, Linda. <laughs> Steve enjoys getting together with his family. I know he is excited about his upcoming retirement and doing all the things he has been looking forward to doing. And with no timeline, you can take as long as you want to get things done. Steve always had an allegiance to our department and was active in supporting the efforts of our Food Service Association. Steve was the recipient of the Child Nutrition Employee of the Year Award for 2009-2010 school year. He also accumulated many other awards through the years, such as numerous safety, CRE, Silver Spoon, and other fun awards. While reviewing Steve's personnel file recently, it was a, a trip down memory lane, reading the many comments and notes collected over the years, and some of these included, great ability to organize and maintain the warehouse, facilitates and expedites orders for managers, very willing and cooperative, cooperates with supervisors, practices good safety habits, <coughs> special letter of thanks July 6, 1988 for extra assistance beyond that required. His strengths have always been he's just very, very cooperative. He always took care of the managers, exceeds expectations. Steve, you are a wonderful example of the type of employee we have working in foods and nutrition. You should be recognized for all your 26 outstanding years of service you gave to this district and to the students in this district. Steve was always helping our cafeteria managers so they could get our students fed. I will miss you very much, Steve, and your friendship that's developed through the years that we've been together. I wish you the very best in your retirement from food and nutrition. And one of Steve's signature sayings is, later. later. <laughs> so Steve, from all of us to you, later. <laughs> okay, with having said introduced him, that um, some of the people weren't here, would you just introduce your family to, to uh, our group? Uh, my sister Melanie. Just wait. One of my twin sisters. <laughs> my wife Linda. Hey. My, my mother-in-law. My daughter Dora. And my sister back there, Hyde back there. She was like <laughs> her, her husband, Randy, uh, Kathy, Randy. Y'all come on and sit down. And where's Bubba's outside? Oh, oh, my, Bubba's outside my son's out with my grandson, Nicholas. Uh, my son Steve Jr. My son, my son Nick uh, my grandson Nicholas. Nicholas Ryan. <laughs> Okay, and so now we're going to uh, do a little bit more sharing, and so I've asked Sharon Hoppy if you'll come up and be the first one on our list to share a memory with Steve. And as I said, she and Steve, y'all shared a lot of early morning moments, because Sharon's always an early bird. You might want to go around that way, because that's the cord there. Excuse me, I have a Okay. Um... I've met Steve too long ago. He worked at Wine Gardens, and my mother-in-law right. and I went shopping, and I met Steve there. And so I knew him when he started working, and I was in the school, at the high school, and I would see you. I would see you at Katie Little when I worked there. So I already knew you, but the last 16 years, I've worked real close with Steve and child nutrition. And so... He's like my early morning buddy. He makes sure I'm okay when we get into work. And 
He's the one that carries in my diet cup for me every morning. And not every morning, once a week. And, uh, every morning. Okay. Every morning. And so we get to gripe about whatever we want to gripe about to each other, and that's our venting, you know. And so I'm really going to miss you very much. Love you. You can call him in the morning, you know. <laughs> <laughs> he said he'd bring me some Diet Coke. I'm sorry. Bring <laughs> some Shipley's. <laughs> Shipley's are for beef. started a trend here. It seems like since I retired, uh, two people, well, two people retired last That's year. That's not your fault. Since I was going to retire at the end of this year. Yeah. But uh, I missed all of y'all when I was gone. I missed Steve. We worked together when I was in the cafeterias, and like Miss Lee said, he always took care of the managers. But he also got very angry with us at times. <laughs> <laughs> but even though he was Nasty. angry, he still took care of us. <laughs> but And he always was very uplifting. He'd come in and tease us and aggravate us with pulling our jet shirts and putting clothes pants on us. <laughs> you know, but he was always smiling and kept us happy. <laughs> and um, I just, you know, he's always but that's what's fun. That's what's fun. Yeah. And he, like I said, he likes that sweet tooth and he's always smelling something. And he, that's what he says to me every day. You smell pumpkin bread? He likes pumpkin bread. Oh, it's very good. Very <laughs> so, good. It's very good. <laughs> but I'll miss you. I'll you got to come back and see us. Well, I will. Of course. Not. Of course not. <laughs> All right. Dave, you didn't tell Linda I ate it. That's what he did. Yeah. He told me I only got her. one piece. I told her about it. <laughs> very good. Very good. Well, I don't know how long we worked together before I realized that Steve and I were almost related, right? Yeah, almost related. We're almost related. Because come to find out, I grew up with his wife's family. We live in the same town. It's like, oh my goodness. So we became my like family. So I really appreciate it. I see his mother-in-law on my birthday because hers is either the day before or the day after mine. And a lot of times we'd go out to eat on our birthday. Guess who was there? They were taking her out to eat too. So we saw each other on her birthday. So it was really nice. And uh, I was a manager for lots of years here. Uh, and Steve would come and bring me my stuff and he never brought stuff on the floor. No, no. They'd say, he doesn't put my stuff up. I said, well, he puts mine up. That's right. And then I said, I, he didn't say anything to me. Yeah, but he says it does. Atlanta calls me and I have to do this and I have to do that. So, but anyway, I guess I'm just bossy. But he's like a little brother to me. And I just, You're just a little older, so you deserve a little respect. I said like a little brother. Little brother, I said. So you are a little bit younger, not too much, just a few years. So, but anyway, I'm going to miss you. I'm, Oh, and we'll see you on our birthday, maybe. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you.